How's it going, guys? I'm Awful Mr. Girl from Oz. Welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake. Last episode. What happened last episode? So much has been happening today that's been crazy. Basically, we have to get to the farm and help Barry out, and there's a single woman that's missing. Oh! Jiminy Cricket! Okay, I see people over this way. You gotta be kidding me! Get back out. Oh, what? I know there was one more guy around here somewhere. Where is he, the last one? There he is. Whoops. Get him first. Make sure there's nothing around here first up. You know, like thermo mugs or manuscripts or I don't think there is. But either way, I need to get out of the coziness of my car, unfortunately, and search out Barry. I'm hearing noises. I hate See, I love it, um, my girl Christy has just got 7.1 surround headphones, and you guys could understand, if you play this game, piece of shit, is anyone behind me? Run towards the light, oh my god! Fuck off! That's why I love the flashbang. I wish I had more of the buggers. Okay, so uh, two, that's all reloaded. Flashbang, we gotta use the flashbang wisely. Oh man, I wish I had more flares. Can't go down that way, so we have to go down this way. Barry, where are you, mate? Okay, it's just there. Is this a place here that we can go in? No. Really? Okay, well, this place surely I can go into. Ah, here we go. Arrow. Yep. Definitely. Come on. Let me in. There. This is not creepy or nothing. Flashbangs, please. To God, please, please, please. Revolve my flashbang! Brilliant. That was worth it. <laughs> Wish it was not. Got your daughter. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Reload, 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 reload it. Shit. <laughs> One. Reload that shit there. Your daughter? Why your daughter, mate? Daughter. There's got to be some context around here somewhere about that. There, my mug. I thought I saw something flashing in the middle of the thing there. Yes. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Stage? Oh, here we go. Excellent. Run! They're coming! There's too many of them! No, 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 no,
glad you decided to go it alone. Awesome. Shut up and shoot. Oh, I get it. Ow! We have to fight them all! I can tell I'll the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo in store? Oh! This place is stopped! Ow! Oh, hold on! I'll try to get the stage lights off! Where are the rest of them? Oh, flashbangs, you beautiful babies! Where are they all? Oh, fuck off, mate. Oh my god! the light in the middle of the stage because um it's like checkpoint all the time oh god sorry Sticks on a cracker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. <sighs> that was awesome. That was an epic, epic boss battle. You'd actually enjoy killing them. Oh, that's so good. I'm gonna keep this torch, I think. Nothing else there. Now, point 10 and swapped it over the pump action. What would the pump action give me? 31 bullets. I think I'm gonna go with the pump action. Hey, ow! <gasps> this way to the farm! Really numb nuts. I think there's something over here. No, it's just a light. Oh no, it's a manuscript! Fudge yeah! Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. <laughs> So 
there wouldn't be anything else because we've already got thermo mugs and all that sort of jazz. So yeah, let's use the um, revolver for the moment and see what we're dealing with, and then move on. Fuck yeah, the brothers know what they're doing, don't they? Oh my god! From the script though, I thought it was going to be a bit more spectacular. Like the stage was going to be a bit more, but I suppose it's just a makeshift stage, isn't it? And so that's pretty darn good. They knew how to rock. We're gonna rock this party. Oh god. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. Okay. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Okay, there's something up there. So we clear from the darkness for a while. You know, just for a few minutes. I suppose we are because it's a puzzle thing now. Thank God. That was so awesome. Like it wasn't it wasn't easy that level, but it wasn't hard either because you know they were nice enough to keep um you know lighting them up and all that sort of thing. So. I guess they were just giving us a, a boss battle which we can actually enjoy and just be like, fuck yeah. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah. It was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. After all I've done for you, mate! That's how you repay me? Jeez, you're an ass. God. There's gotta be something around on this thing, surely. God, is that gonna turn demonic later on? Better not. Really? No thermo mug? No nothing? Maybe there's something on this thing over here. Maybe there's something at the end of this trailer. I think there is. Oh my god. So good. As the deputies hauled Wake and Wheeler away, Agent Nightingale eagerly examined the stack of papers Wake had been carrying. It was incomplete. A collection of random pages. But there was enough. He saw his own name in there, among others. His hand shook with emotion. Finally, it was proof. He had been right all along. Oh, I get why. Alan's put this guy in to chase after him to, you know, add plot and thicken it up and... I get it now! Ah! Do I see another page over there or just white flickering? There's definitely something going on over there, but we have to go inside the thing to actually work that out. Right. Okie dokie then, George. I don't think there's anything else over here, is there? there? Might be something over here. Sorry, I've been given instructions to this in utter detail. And so that's what I'm going to do. This is for the Alan Wake fans out there. Which are, there are a lot of you actually, now that I recall. So I hope that if anyone else is randomly coming in here that this is actually a proper playthrough. I should have mentioned that from the beginning. KICK IT! Can I kick it? Yes! Oh no, I just open it. Okay, my, come on. Oh, I just push it through. <laughs> wow! Look, you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Oh, wow! That's cool. Look at all this stuff! They must have done okay for themselves, so how come I never heard of these guys before? And <laughs> this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. We all spend the third of our night dreams spray. in the soft dude first. Somewhere back in fantasy. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? But your first real writing job. What got you started? Life. Was this one of your episodes? Vice versa. In Night Spray. Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, okay. no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... 
Isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Uh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. Okay. That wasn't odd or anything. Oh. Damn, these guys were loaded. We didn't get the hunting rifle, did we? <gasps> there my mug! Come on, you. Okay, so where do we get out from here? Oh, here we go. There's the ladder here. Nothing else down here. It feels good to have Barry by my side. I like it. Nothing there, but there's something here. F5. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, Ew. shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Oh. Oh, that's bad. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. <laughs> what are we supposed to do something with it, are we? Can we read this? Oh, we can. Oh, it's just different places where they actually partied and stuff. It's cool. Anything behind you? God, this torch is weirdly, like, it's so bright. Look at it. Is that another script over there that I missed? Oh no, no. Oh, like a battering ram! Oh, I get it now. Uh oh, oh, right. Get down to Barry. No, 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 Barry no, Barry, 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 Barry. me what the fudge come on oh, come on come here Over here. Ah! Bart! 
No, I don't have any fives. overgrown barrel. There's surely, surely there's something missing that I'm, I'm missing over here. Is it choke pen? Nothing that I'm missing. Just making sure. Right, I think we can move on. Whew. Okay, so re reload some reload some shit. Come on, Alan. One. Reload that. That's all. That's all done. Okay, good. <laughs> Where did ba Barry? How did you get there? Thing. God damn it! Chicken shit. That's what you are. Chicken shit. Oh, this is the distiller. Wow, those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Be careful, Al! <laughs> yeah. I'm just getting some more shotgun ammo. Release a new single. God. Money, money, money. Oh my god! Yeah, never felt better. Never felt better. So what the juice am I supposed to be doing up here? Oh, I'm supposed to go upstairs more. Okay, I get it. Anything else want to screw me? Come on, I dare you. Doesn't sound good. Nothing else here. Hello, is someone with me? I've got one flare. I've got to make it count. There's another heavy du duty torch over here. Is that the same one? So can I actually pick up that heavy duty lantern? Oh, the radio guy. As you got to say. regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here oh, okay. in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Uh, which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. <laughs> oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the, uh, the usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, really? Is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh, oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Is he been drinking? Me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Right, well, we pretty much knew all that already. Just check for batteries, thank you. 
Okay, so we need to turn the power on. Right. Oh, I see. Is, this, is that just for checkpoint? Low light. Checkpoint? No checkpoint. Okay. Well, suit yourself then. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. Oh, yeah. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. I like how I had to kick that open. <laughs> so, what about Barry? Is he not coming with us? Okay, I've got enough uh, battery. God, I don't feel good about this harvester, mate. You know it's going to happen. You've got to be kidding me. You piece of shit! Ow! Defeat the harvester, and then I'm good as rain. Get it? Good as rain. <sighs> ah! You, you kick that fucking thing. Oh, I don't have a flare gun. Did you? Okay, so run into here. So there's supplies in here, is it? That's the only thing I can think of. Or maybe we're going back to get Barry. Open the silo for Barry. Yeah, here we go. Now I saw a thing, an emergency thing. Where was it? Sorry, there was one. I did see it. Okay, we're gonna have baddies, baddies out here, aren't there? No? That harvester was so much easier. I didn't realize that it would be that easy. Where did I see it? Or maybe the silo entrance is over here. Here we go. This would be it over here. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Anything hey, in here? Let's go, man. Nothing in here. 
Okay, well, guys, I'm gonna end it there. Like, vote, and subscribe. Um, and I'll be back with another episode of Alan Wake really soon. Catch you later, guys. Bye. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Hmm. What do you want, you old hag? Yes. All right. I'll fix it. DK, 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 DK. Ha, this is actually dick. <laughs> oh, 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 oh.